The first is that for uh, this future of programming, I think that it's it's probably going to be, this is my speculation, I think it's going to be mostly machine. This is what I think. As we were showing here. Now, that doesn't mean, uh, just to be clear, I'm not trying to say that this means we don't need programmers. I think the opposite is actually true. I think with the advent of machine programming, we are in a space where we can democratize programming so everyone in the world is creating software. That's actually the point of machine programming. It's not to not have people create software and the machines do it. No, it's actually so every person on the planet can create software. And the way to do that, I think, is that you present interfaces to humans, these human intended programming languages. One of them, these program, one of them is natural language. I mean, not exactly, but that's kind of one of the things that's emerged. There, there are problems with this, but that's a human intended programming language, natural language, and that we can take this to express semantics and then the machines can do stuff that certain humans can't do, which is write uh, Python code or JavaScript, or machine code, or assembly, right? So what I envision is that we're going to continue to invent new programming languages and in such a way that the entire planet has the ability to interface with machines at whatever granularity they want. 